The next year, Noel became head coach in Pittsburgh, where he took over a franchise that had never won a postseason game. Well, I think when you have a 37-year history of not good, it's going to take a little longer even then to, uh, to work out of that because you're always bucking the heritage. When he was hired, he said, I've been watching the game films, and I can tell you why you've been losing. You could have heard a pin drop in this room. And he said, the reason you've been losing is you're not any good, and I'm going to have to get rid of most of you. And we were, oh, my goodness. The first week of training camp, I'm waiting for Chuck, and he pulled in and he said, come in the house. And I said, all right. And he said, you need to know this. Just prepare yourself. This is a terrible team. <laughs> so it's going to be a very tough year, maybe longer. Just know it. In 1969, the 37-year-old rookie head coach led the Steelers to a win on opening day. Pittsburgh then lost the remaining 13 games of the season. It was a battle of passing attacks being only slightly more effective than an aerial attack in a 1935 Jock Sutherland offense. On the sideline, coach Chuck Knoll muttered something unprintable. While the team struggled to find its footing, Noel remained grounded in the fundamentals. I'll never forget, he took me and he said, when you're standing across from the tight end, I want you to move your right foot two inches wider and one inch back. <laughs> I'm like, what? That's going to help me? Yes, trust me. And it did help. It made it harder to hook me. Chuck was into which shoulder do you hit him with? What foot are you on when you hit him with? Where do your hips go after the hit? Where are your hands doing after the hit? See, that's what Chuck emphasized. He would tell you that my job is to teach you how to play this game correctly. I will never give you a motivational speech. If I have to motivate you, I will fire you. We played the Oilers every year, twice. And once at Three Rivers, someone on the Oilers left the playbook. And the clubhouse guys found and they brought it to Chuck. And in our meeting that we always have on Monday, you know, Chuck said, this is a playbook for the Houston Oilers. We have another game to play with those guys. And he said, you see this? Dropped it in the trash. And he said, it's not important what they do. The most important thing is what we do. He didn't care about bulletin board stuff. We didn't get involved in hyperbole. Plain lads, we didn't get involved in board. Defensive tackle Joe Green was Noel's first draft pick in 1969 and would become the cornerstone of the franchise. The coach reshaped the roster, and as the talent improved, so did the win totals. By Noel's fourth season, Pittsburgh was a playoff team. Over Noel's first six seasons, the Steelers drafted nine future Hall of Fame players, including one who would test the coach's patience as a teacher. When I think about Chuck, he made me tough. In 1974, Bradshaw helped lead the Steelers to the AFC Championship game. They would meet the Oakland Raiders, who had just beaten the two-time defending champion Dolphins in a thrilling divisional playoff. In the post-game, John Madden of the Raiders made a comment to the effect of, that's what happens when the two best teams in football get together. Oh, when he heard that quote, Chuck was furious. It was a genuine, you know, how dare you kind of thing. And uh, so he said it to his players. And we were in the room like this, and Chuck was talking, and he said that, you know, the, the people out in Oakland says that uh, the best two teams played yesterday. And uh, I want you guys to know that the best team in pro football is sitting right here in this room. And I was sitting in one of these little chairs for, you know, first graders. <laughs> and I kind of rose up out of the chair without putting my feet on the ground. And that was the first time in, I think, my sixth year that Chuck ever said anything that resembled a locker room speech, a motivation thing. And that game, in my view, 
was won that day. No way they were going to win. They didn't have a chance. In Super Bowl IX, the defense Noel had built smothered Minnesota. And the quarterback he had toughened sealed the win. Here is Bradshaw rolling right and fires at the end of the Terry Bradshaw has had his greatest three games in a row when he had to have him in the playoffs. Chuck Noll being carried off. They were about the worst team in pro football when he took over. I would say their best years are ahead of them. We're going to relax and enjoy it uh, for just a short time and then get on to next year. And then be ready for next season. All ready? <laughs> That's right. It comes around fast. The next season, Pittsburgh won its second straight Super Bowl title. I think the thing that helped me understand Chuck's view of the world was a comment that he made at one point that at the end of a game, or the end of a season, win or lose, he didn't exult. He felt as though somebody had stuck a pin in him. Congratulations again, a great victory. Sonny's back. 